We're on the veranda Barrel Ranch Hacienda near Logan, New Mexico. It's named for that mountain there that looks just like a bell. And from the veranda here next to the Hacienda that was built in 1937, you can see that mountain. You can see this mountain from all over. Uh, northeastern New Mexico and that mountain is uh, several miles away from the house here. The sun going down the first uh, afternoon the gathering to uh, hunt antelope uh, this weekend uh, here on the Bell Ranch. One of the last hunts that will take place here. Uh, ranch owner Jeff Lane was uh, recently killed in a plane crash and the ranch is, uh, is probably going to be sold and, and all of this will move into another family. And so this is kind of a, a historic hunt. Guys getting their picture made with Bell Mountain in the background. Here's the Hacienda at Bell Ranch. Name for that mountain right there. Spectacular location with the sun going down. We're on an antelope hunt. We'll start hunting in the morning and uh, somebody will take a big antelope tomorrow on the Bell Ranch near Logan, New Mexico. We'll be uh, Dan McBride talking about uh, Bell Ranch and antelope hunting here. It, it, a lot of history involved in this ranch Mark, here in northeastern New Mexico. Mark, we're on the Bell Ranch in uh, San Miguel County, New Mexico. It's just north of Tucumcari and south of a small town called Mascaro. Uh, the Bell Ranch is, is famous for New Mexico history in livestock, horses, and cowboys. The ranch is also uh, got some really, really wonderful antelope hunting on it. Uh, the ranch has been in the, in the Lane family for about 40 years, and uh, we're blessed to be here. We have a good group of hunters this year scattered across Texas. Uh, it'll be a, it's now September the 14th. We'll hunt the 15th and 16th. Uh, looking forward to the hunt tomorrow. Mark, I'm glad you could be here. This has been a, a really historic ranch and uh, suffered a big loss recently, didn't they, Dan? Yes, uh, the owner of the ranch, uh, Mr. Jeff Lane, was tragically killed in a plane crash mid-August, and the, the ranch has undergone that uh, adjustment. So there's a little somberness here, but uh, we're looking forward to the hunt, and the cowboys are looking forward to us being here tomorrow. So uh, it's we're going to try to make the best of it. Uh, well, we've had a tragedy. Is this among the best antelope spots in New Mexico? Mike, it is a very underhunted ranch. The ranch gets 50 to 60 permits each year, so there's there's ample antelope ample antelope here. But we we try to underharvest it. We keep the the quality up. We we kill antelope here each year between 78 and 84. So. We'll probably kill a couple of booners this hunt. Hopefully, we will. 82 being the minimum for Booner Crockett. Well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. It's uh, time for dinner now. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. I don't think so. But I don't know that much about him. So he looks yeah, like I'm he sure you don't know much about him. He might be older than he scores. Seven or eight years old.
They were on Bell Ranch, herd of antelope. There's the buck right there. Now he's chasing the doe. He's going to get her back in the herd. He's not going to let her get away from him like that. That's pretty neat, isn't it? The one, the one on the river. Yeah. Hello. Oh, you did. Here he goes again. Here he goes again. You're just protecting those ivory tips. Shoot as far away from me as you can. You're not pulling me. No, the, uh, one of them is wide and one's wide and one's not. And, and heavier, and the other one is not as wide. Well, what's wrong with that one? I'm not sure. Limping in there.